YouTube family. Welcome to Montana Haven, Alaska edition. Welcome to this episode of Montana Haven. You probably don't recognize me if you're used to seeing me otherwise. I'm working on staining our home here in Alaska, our log cabin. I'm right now on the third coat of stain and I invite you to watch this video. In this particular video, we're gonna be finishing the stain. We're also gonna be starting to work on the metal roof and hopefully, uh, we can get the entire metal roof on this video. Uh, we'll see how that goes. We also do need to uh, get our, once I'm done with the final coat of, of the exterior clear finish, this is the third coat, and then we're also gonna give the decks three coats. So we'll do this yet this evening, let it dry, and then we're going to uh, come back tomorrow, and hopefully while we're working on the roof, we can, uh, do the decks intermittently and let them dry. So that's what we're working on. So follow along. We hope you enjoy this with our family. These, these uh, video series, vlog, whatever you want to call it. It's our family here in Alaska. And we just invite you to tag along and have fun with us. You're probably thinking why am I putting white liquid white washing a black house now this stuff is actually a clear finish it goes on white but it dries almost completely clear and it's going to look it just makes it nice and glossy you can see with two coats how this looks third coat's going to make it even glossier That's hard work. Here we are this morning and our plan of attack for today is getting this stove that we picked up last night. We're gonna get that inside the house. We had to use a skid steer to lift it onto the porch because it weighs like 400 pounds. Okay, we're gonna get that inside and then we're gonna get the porch a coat of stain. Then we're gonna hop up on the roof and we are going to start punching in our chimney. So that's the plan. What we did here is we put it on some dowels so we can literally just roll it in there. Thought that might be the easiest way to do it. Well, I'm ready to start on the porch now here, so let's get spraying. First coat dries super fast, which is nice. Should be able to get on it within about an hour. And then we'll get the second coat put on. Probably the third coat just before we leave for tonight for home. Now I'm gonna take these wonderful shoes off. So I'm gonna jump down on the dirt. Yeah, 
it. It's got to go around the edge a little bit here. Justin cutting in the chimney box, sir. Okay, do that on the other side. That's good right there. There, our first coat has dried, and I'm just getting ready to apply the second coat right now. Let's go look, take a look at the other um, front porch there. Looks so good. Love that. All right, second coat, here we come. There's how it looks with the second coat. Looks kind of a little bit white and milky. I put about uh, 30 or 50% of color in it. So it's given it just a little bit of a tint, but I didn't want too dark, so just to kind of contrast with the log. So once that dries, we'll put one final coat on and we're gonna be done. Okay, Ethan's getting the skylight in right there. That's gonna provide some light here for the kitchen. And over here, we're getting our plumbing vent stack put in up there on top. So we're working on that. That looks like a lot of fun, Ethan. You're nice and insulated now. Okay, we're gonna have to cut that BCI out, unfortunately. That's a bummer. Well, we are having trials and tribulations, but we are getting it. There's a skylight hole. And I think we can get it figured out one way or another. Okay, it is time to call it quits. We worked kind of late again here. We, uh, with my ambitious um, <laughs> ideas of how much we can get done, um, I thought we could probably get just get started on the roof but we didn't quite get that far which is okay but what we did get done is we did get three coats of stain on the deck here which is exactly what i wanted this third coat will dry overnight so this deck and the front deck we got three coats of stain on and that's done all the staining exterior is completely done and i could not be happier about that and it's going to turn a little bit more brown it's still a little whitish but i think it turned out pretty nice so that's done. The whole house is stained outside. Done, 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 done. And then uh, we got the two vent uh, vents, the plumbing vents, uh, poked through the roof, got those in. And let's go inside and check out the chimney. Uh, let me back up and show you. It's going to be sitting right in there. Uh, but we got that cut in and the box installed. And then we got our sky tunnel on the other side put in as well. So there's where the chimney is going to go and over here is the sky the sun tunnel and it, it does not it's not completed yet just the top part the bottom part will be um put in then later but it does i think it's going to give quite a bit of light so that's that's pretty nice uh, we got that done and we also had uh heating uh hvac guys come in and they installed this duct work for me for the uh microwave vent and they also install the dryer vent so that's good uh one thing at a time and we're making progress we're gonna help michael throw in a couple of his really heavy windows because 
it's too heavy for a one-man show so we came over here to help them do that and then we're gonna head back over to our house and get started okay dokie well this morning you see this big pile of metal that we got for the roof and all we have to do is just put it up there so simple right well it is simple but it still work and so we're gonna get started i'm thinking three days uh just with us three with uh you know i could maybe we can get it done sooner but probably i'm thinking three days so that's probably what we're we're doing plus it's raining and that's never fun to work on the roof when it's raining let's go check out the porch i am curious how it looks oh i am loving it Ah, oh, that looks so nice. Looks even better in uh, real life than the, the video here. Uh, there you go. That looks more like the brown color that I'm seeing. Looks a little darker in the pictures. Let's walk around here. See if it looks a little bit better. I don't know. Looks all right in the video. Looks a little different. Serious reflection for some reason there anyways there's the deck and so excited that we're all done with the outside of the house so fun not to have to do that again that's tough work so now the roof and then we're good to go let her snow let her snow we are making some progress so we've got a couple sheets on see if you guys like the color you can't really tell from here can you I'll give you a better look in a moment. But yeah, it's a dark green, it's called forest green, and it's a uh, really cool, kind of the same color we have at Montana Haven in Montana roof, although we have uh, shingles there. This is a, a metal roof, but uh, okay, we're just getting ready to get that, um, these boots right here, it's called boots uh, flashing over that um, plumbing stack up there, so we gotta do that next. There you can see the green color a little bit better. And that's the master flash boot we have to put over there. And I think it's gonna blend in good with what we got going on here. Let's go see what their style looks like to get it up here. There we go. I got it. That's how we do it right there. We're cutting the hole for the sun tunnel.
boys are ripping the last piece there. This is their first time, I think, really helping on a metal roof, so they're learning a lot. They're doing great, though. Cool, cool. This side is completed. There's our sky tunnel, and there's our other vent, and we are good to go. We're going to start putting on drip edge along this side down here. Got to get it blown off and do some of that yet this evening before it gets too late. Hey, it's shedding water. That's awesome, and it's raining, so it actually is working. There's a little better view. It doesn't look very green with the brightness on there, but it is. Yep, it's that time of year again. We are back working this morning, and look at what you see right here. That's called ICE ice. And yes, we have to put this metal on. So our hands are already getting cold, and we're having to spend time warming them up. But we're going to get as much as we can done today on the roof. And it's supposed to start raining and maybe snowing this afternoon. Um, and so it is what it is. But we have to try to get do it as safely as we can and get it done before winter sets in. So today we're working on the metal again. <clears throat> we're putting on the valleys. And we're going to put all the metal on this front uh, piece here sticks out and then we also put all this valley in here and then if we still have time we're going to do the porches all right our valleys are completed we're chalking here for our uh, metal line where we're gonna put our metal and then we're ready to put it on this metal so one thing we failed to do as I failed to do, is I did not get this porch metal ordered. I don't know why. I know I measured it, but it didn't get the measurements to them. So they're making it. Good guys, they said they try to whip it out. Usually they're like three weeks out, but they said they try to do it. So while we wait, we can today, we can get that whole area done right there and the other side. And then hopefully tomorrow they'll have it made by tomorrow. And then we can get this on the porch. And so that we can put this on because we have to put the porch on before we can put this on. We're getting there a couple more pieces on this side going a little slow doing all these cuts but we're getting it there it is folks it's the white stuff called snow and it's snowing here in Alaska and we're putting our roof on and it's snowing so this close to getting a roof on before it snows but you know what snow rain shine sleet hail bugs bears or bad weather we're gonna get the roof on okay i get guess we're gonna have to call it quits this is getting a little out of control it's actually getting pretty slick pretty hard to walk right now and it's just dumping snow to beat all so we did get the other side of the steep pitch done and we got this much done we got all the valleys in so the next couple days it looks like cold so maybe this stuff is going to freeze on the roof i don't know but uh we'll just if we get a chance we'll finish it that's all i can say so i think we're going to get a chance it looks like it's going to be in the mid 30s or so maybe even the upper 30s later in the week so we'll see how far we get and hopefully we can get it in <sighs> Right now, actually, what we have to do is we never winterize the RV, and so we're going to go do that. I looked all over Wasilla for one of those RV antifreeze pumps that you can hand pump 
antifreeze into your RV, but I can't find any and the people that have them are sold out. So we're just gonna have to do some tricks, maybe try to get an air compressor and blow some in through a hose or something. So we'll figure it out, see if we can make it happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, shall we go outside and see what the snow brought to us last night? We just showed up at the job site here and we're a little bit later in the day, I had some phone calls and things to take care of. And now we're gonna go see what happened. We actually got snowed out. We had to get off the roof last night. It was extremely uh, starting to get slippery and it just was dumping snow. So we got off the roof and then we still had to winterize the RV. I didn't do any videoing of that. It was just too intense, too cold. We were freezing. My finger, fingers actually got so cold they still hurt this morning <laughs> today just because they were so cold. And we wanted to get it done and, and uh, we had to get the thing winterized. Nothing like waiting until the last minute, right? So, but we got it done. The boys, Justin and Ethan are amazing. They helped really well. So now we're back at it. The sun's shining today a little bit and it says it's just in the low 30s. So hopefully we can get up there, sweep the snow and keep going on the roof. Yep, it's white, but it's just warm enough that it's starting to drip and it, the ground was still warm enough. I guess it didn't really stick to the ground. So I think we can get it swept off up there. Looks like just a good coating there. Get swept off and get going on it. Well, the only way to get this stuff off is with a scoop shovel, we decided, so that's what we're doing. Shoveling it off, it still stuck pretty hard. But it's kind of starting to melt, so that's a good thing. So we're shoveling, getting it cleared off. We've got this porch on now and we're working up here. And good news, I got Michael helping me. If you've been watching me, you know who Michael is. He's my cousin, married to my sister-in-law. And we're getting this roof put on. Pretty exciting. After we're done shoveling snow, it's about 36 degrees. So it's just enough to be melting, which is awesome. Have some fantastic news see this little screw right here this is the most sought after screw of the whole house this is the last screw that I'm putting in then this roof is done all the screws are in there it is and now all we have to do is come back, it's kind of late tomorrow. We're gonna to come back and do a little bit of caulking here and there, but the roof is on and we're so happy about that. So, so thankful Michael helped today. Otherwise we'd never have, would have gotten it done. So it's dinner time, but uh, just so grateful that the roof is on. Sun's just setting over here. It's amazing. Okay, first time driving in, looking at our green roof. Oh yeah, I am loving the way she looks. Starting to look like home there. A little bit more. A little bit more work and she'll be home. And today is cleanup day. We're taking all our trash metal here to the dump. And we're gonna clean out, clean up around here a little bit. We've been so busy working on the roof, it's gotten a little cluttered, so clean up day. And we're gonna do a little bit of grading um, to try to get some low areas filled in with dirt before the ground freezes too hard. Well, we're covering up our nice floor again, just because we want to keep it nice and clean until the snow comes at least and then we'll uncover it because it's still a little bit muddy out. 
so we'll keep it covered as long as we can. It was a dump run today. I've got this thing all full of metal and some old pallets and stuff. But I go down to the dump. Well, I'm on the way there. Um, actually, I, went, I had to settle up my bill for the metal. And then I was going to go to the dump after that, the landfill. And my way there, I just a mile down the road, I discovered they were closed. So I came back. They're closed today. So I'll have to do this tomorrow. So now I'm going to see what Justin's been doing. He was uh, kind of cleaning up in there. And I'm going to take the skidster and move a little bit of dirt around before it freezes solid, uh, like tomorrow or the next day. So get that done, and then we're getting going to be close to the end of the video here because we need to get this thing posted in a couple days, and I still got to edit and upload and all that good stuff. That takes quite a bit of time. We're moving some of that wood onto the porch while we got the skid steer, and. I'll show you what he got done over here. I needed to put some of that dirt that's over by the well, all the way over there. I needed to take it and put it around the back around here because it was low and the water was wanting to run in there. So kind of put some there, put some there. And then I had to take some of this off across the front because it was still a little bit high and I moved it up against there. So now everything slopes away for sure and kind of took some of that big pile out of there graded this all down it was a little bit bumpy and stuff had a low spot over there moved it over in there and we're actually going to build a woodshed here probably in the next month or so and it'll be sitting right in here this area so i kind of just cleared that it was pr still pretty soft in there because we had trenches running through there but i cleared that out right there uh kind of leveled it out a bit and push it kind of down in this area. So there's some trees that we're gonna have to cut up into firewood. Anyways, that's what we're doing. We did get, we gotta move that wood onto the porch now. We did get a bunch of wood onto the porch, which is nice. It'll get nice and dry now. And we're gonna take some of this wood over here and put it on the porch. And then I think we're gonna call it, pretty much call it a day here. Thanks for watching this video, this episode of Montana Haven. I just want to let you know, Priscilla and I and all the kiddos, we just want to let you know how much we appreciate that you guys follow us here on YouTube. And sometimes we don't know why people want to follow us, but we get it, we're building a home, and we just want to say thank you. Uh, we're just an ordinary family, but we're just grateful every day. I'm thankful and blessed by all the amazing words that you guys write in the comments and we try to read all of those sometimes it's difficult because there's a lot of them but we just want to say thank you uh thank you for watching this episode the, all the other episodes and just want to say god bless you and thanks for following us this is going to be the conclusion of this video we hope you enjoyed it and there's some bonus footage right after this so don't go away okay we are going on a little hike and it's super duper windy Heading up to the old mine up here, see what we can see. It's a blast.
Hold on a light. Do you think it's the Whoa. This is far out. Whoa. Exploring deep inside here. Oh, here's it. Oh, no, it keeps going. Oh, wow. Look at this timbers. Oh, this looks scary and I'll get out. Timbers propped up to hold the rock up. Oh, my word. Okay, we're as far back as we can go right here. It's just like a bunch of water. Just keeps going a long ways. Pretty sweet. Here we came up to another mine, but it looks like this one caved in. Not much to see on this one, but it is really, oh, the view is so nice up here. God bless.